Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Thursday, the 10th of May 2018. Okay, so uh, let's see where we stand here. In terms of uh, US markets yesterday, quite an impressive and stellar rally, certainly pushing higher. Uh, in terms of uh, Asian markets overnight, certainly following US's lead, uh, it certainly seems like China trade war concerns certainly haven't been forgotten. It certainly seems like uh, Iranian concerns certainly haven't been forgotten as well, given the fact that Trump pulled out that deal, sending uh, oil prices higher, which in turn obviously leads to, lead to high rising costs, which in turn uh, leads to uh, higher inflation and higher rates, and which in turn obviously is negative for the uh, economy. But at present, the stock market certainly to be fixated on the uh, assumption or, or potential uh, view that. Uh, Obviously, rising commodities are, are generally bullish for, for certain equity, uh, certain parts of the equity sector, and that certainly seems to be dominating at present. It's all about the uh, re-emergence and strength in, in the strength of commodities. Even though the stronger dollar certainly has obviously pushed higher now, again stronger commodities certainly must. Uh, now, yesterday copper certainly pushed higher as well. Gold certainly certainly started to push higher as well to a large extent. Um, so again, certainly something to certainly to keep an eye on. In terms of oil prices approaching that seventy-two dollar level, again, uh, really is quite strange uh, from an economics perspective. One would have expected the rise in uh, oil prices certainly dent companies' profits in terms of rising costs and obviously leading to inflation down the road, which in turn leads to higher rates, which in turn equals hawkish policy and therefore is negative for the stock market. Well, that certainly isn't the uh, presumption at present, given the fact that the stronger dollar certainly has hurt. Uh, the euro uh, USD hurt GBP USD, and that certainly is helping export uh, of uh, potential uh, goods and services, and that certainly is helping prop up the actual equity markets there. And let's see how long this continues. That's the question, okay? German DAX certainly has closed its gap as well around the 13,000 level, uh, and what happens next? That's the question. Okay, in terms of uh, data today, we obviously are waiting for the BOE. That certainly seems seems to be the main. Uh, focus uh, manufacturing and industrial production data certainly came in on the weaker side trade balance came in on the weaker side for the UK uh, and now we're waiting for the BOE at 12 o'clock so again that should set the tone okay in terms of yesterday Europe you've added you have had weaker data uh, Italian uh, data certainly uh, well yesterday's data certainly was weaker this morning Italian data industrial output uh, certainly coming in slightly stronger than expected so again that certainly is uh, something to watch out for Okay, so please be sure to visit Trade Singler Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesingler.com and download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. In terms of the technical picture, let's look at the German DAX like I was referencing before. German DAX certainly has closed that gap. Now, the next potential resistance, if you continue, is 13,150. So it has been quite a stellar run for the German DAX. It has been quite impressive from that uh, pivot low 11,800. Uh, we're up almost 1,200, 1,300 points since then, so very, very impressive. Okay, in terms of the 60-minute picture, German DAX, again, bullish engulfing candle, breaking through. Let's see if this continues. Uh, we are stalling now on the 10-minute chart. We do have an unfilled gap yet below at 12,940, so it's been almost a 100 pip rally on the upside, so watch out for that potential thrust there as well, okay, in terms of the, uh, the movements. Okay, in terms of the French CAC, let's see what's going on here. Daily chart certainly is into resistance, and one would expect a reversal. 60-minute chart, potential double top pattern as well, so watch out there. 10-minute chart certainly looks exhausted to me as well. Uh, watch out below. Again, if we retrace, we're looking at testing 5520, uh, 5530, 5520, and then ultimately looking to test 5510. So, watch out below there okay in terms of uh, the rest of the markets let's have a look here let's see how we're certainly uh, formulating there FTSE 100 uh, daily chart of the FTSE 100 again we certainly have pause now at that key uh, inflection point around the 7 uh, 680 zone looking for reversal on the back of that weaker economic data and obviously uncertainty regarding BOE a lot of the um, the dovish uh, potential stance from the BOE certainly has been factored in, okay? You have this uh, potential uh, bullish channel certainly being threatened now, okay? If the FTSE does break this uh, 7, uh, 6, 80 zone, then the next level you are looking at is around the 7, 800 now. FTSE rally certainly overdone. From my perspective, exceptionally, exceptionally overdone. Has been, uh, I mean, I've been stopped out multiple times for attempting to short the FTSE this week, okay? So it uh, has been very impressive though. Whenever you get a rally of this, uh, obviously, nature, you have to just uh, sit back and admire it. 
Okay, so again, 60 minute chart, the bullish channel, upper channel of resistance on the FTSE, so therefore looking for a reversal. A 10 minute chart as well, you've got a topping tail certainly going in. Uh, from my perspective, any potential pop on the FTSE is a short, okay? If I get double top, I'll short at 7677. If I get any potential retrace at 7670, I'm more than happy to short with a stop loss above the last pivot high. So again, watch out for the potential moves in the FTSE as well. Okay, so I think that's a good summation of European indices. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and uh, be sure to visit that uh, uh, and download the latest trade signal app. Goodbye now.